Hi, everybody. This is George Foshan, Call Realty Best, Palos Verdes Homes. And it uh, this is the 19th weekly video on how COVID-19 is affecting real estate uh, in Palos Verdes and the Beach City. So um, make sure you subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel, and it's very easy. Just go to youtube.com slash home is PV and click the subscribe button. You'll see it. It's very visible. All right. We're going to, as we have every week, focus on just the facts. I might give an opinion here or there, but let's let's just look at the numbers here. Um, how has COVID-19 affected sale volume? Well, sales are down about 14%, and that's a real big improvement. If you've subscribed to my YouTube channel, you'll be able to see all the previous uh, videos that I've done starting back in March when Governor Newsom instituted the uh, stay at home order. And for a while there, we were down, sale volume was down a bunch, uh, like 40, 50%, not so much anymore. Um, and if we look at sale prices, um, whereas at the beginning, March, April, uh, comparing the month to the previous year's month, uh, prices were down six, seven percent. In the last few weeks now, um, we've actually had price increases compared to the same time last year. And in this case, a little over 10 percent. Dollar per square foot also up a little over 10 percent. And supply and demand um, is showing some really interesting dynamics. Um, we'll take a look at the ratio. These are just the gross numbers, but you'll really be surprised to see how that translate translates into ratios. And I'll talk a little bit about that uh, in a minute. Um, well, look at here. We'll talk about that right now. So in the period of time in the last week, uh, July 19th through July 25th, uh, compared to the five months prior um, the ratio of demand to supply, in other words, new uh, uh, properties put into escrow this week um, compared to properties, the number of properties put into escrow in the five months prior. So that's the demand side of the equation divided by the number of new listings coming to market in the last week relative to the last five months. Look at the differential right now. Pending sales are far outnumbering new listings brought to market. And in other words, demand is far exceeding uh, uh, supply relative to what has occurred in the last five months since February. So I think that's, I think if you asked most people, they would have said the opposite, that COVID would be um, hurting real estate. That appears not to be the case. And you'll see the trend for this number over the last 19 weeks in just a second. And that's what we're looking at right here. Um, when Newsom first uh, put us in jail, uh, we were at 53%, which was horrendous. Um, so many more listings brought to market relative to pending sales. So much more supply relative to demand. But as time went on, for whatever reason, we can speculate as to the why, but you can't argue with the facts. The market has improved um, so much so that in the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight weeks, in the last two months, uh, one, two, three, half the time, demand outstrips supply. And in those cases where it didn't, it, it was right up there. So did I do that right? One, two, three, four. No, more than half the time in the last eight weeks. Incredible. So there you have it. Um, we'll, we'll keep watching this. Stay tuned for the video next week. And uh, I keep on saying this all the time. Really take this to heart. Don't let Zillow and Realtor.com and all those big public portal sites steal your data and sell all your contact information to multiple agents and advertisers on their platforms. That's how they make money. Why are you supporting that? Rather, use searchhomesinprivate.com. Search, make your search private, and uh, 
check this website out too. You'll be really surprised. Even if you're not interested in selling right now, wouldn't these wouldn't this be wouldn't you be curious to know? Okay, that's it, folks. See you next week.